Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Capricorns, you are up, so this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you're a Capricorn cusp baby, I'm including you in my readings as well, and then also if you are Capricorn North Node, I am including you in this reading too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody, but if it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment, as well as share. I'm also including uh, cross watchers. This could be for you. And then also, if you have been guided to this video and you don't have um, Capricorn in your chart or you're not dealing with anybody that has Capricorn in your chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you as well. Um, cross watchers this could be vice versa um, even us as well as you Capricorns vice versa reading so it does not necessarily have to be you it could be your masculine your feminine a karmic a soulmate uh, people that's in your environment if you know their situation as far as family friends and co-workers co as well okay so you could be pulling and harnessing their energy too so just make sure that you're just paying attention to the signs certain making when you watch Torrid and you, the more re videos that you watch, you will start recognizing some of the cards as yourself, especially if you start noticing those same cards keeps coming out for you or your divine feminine or your divine masculine or whoever you're watching the, the reading for. Um, just make sure that you uh, pick a certain card as you, okay? That is something that also has the same... Um, you'll find out that it will be something that's in your birth chart, depending on whatever placement it is that you are strongly, um, that's influenced and you have a lot of situations that's going on as far as when it comes to your healing. Okay. So just making sure that you pay attention to what's in your birth chart. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here for a while, thank you for supporting me. Um, as well as if you are new to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I give my reading. So if you're pressed on time, I always have a timestamp in all of my videos. You can go directly to that timestamp if you want to go directly to the beginning of the reading. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked and not be able to come back on my channel. One of the gifts that I do have is clear audience. So I'm here to help you understand how to use that in my readings on youtube i have music in the background because i'm here to help you understand a gift that everybody has the availability to tap into some people's gifts are more heightened like mine as far as when it comes to clear audience but everybody has the available to availability to use it and that's the reason why the elite the higher ups control the music and entertainment business so much um, because it's a, there to help push the consciousness of the overall um, earth overall Gaia whoever is a human being even animals um, anybody that anything that produces a sound a tone cars trains different things like that engines uh, to help you come to familiarization of a certain thing uh, that's one reason why they um, manipulate it so much and use the people that's in the entertainment business as catalysts and a lot of these people sell out um, their bloodline while they're also fighting their own bloodline curses and finding out who they are a lot of them sell out a lot of them try to um help us see certain things that we're not seeing because we are not where they are as far as being able to see and experience a lot of different things because they have money and they have the um, connections to do certain things that we can't. So um, 
just paying attention to what you're watching, paying attention to who you watch. Uh, knowing your surroundings, Capricorn, is going to be very um, significant for you for this month. Uh, regardless of what you have, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if you have Capricorn in any of those strong placements on the 12th, the first 12th, on your uh, birth chart, because it's two sides of the birth chart. It's one side, and it's it's a left side and a right side. Two charts. 12 on 12. 12 on one side, 12 on the other side. The 12 that's on the first side, if you have Capricorn in any of those, make sure that you're paying attention to your surroundings this month. And then also, if you have Capricorn rising. And that's another thing. If you have Capricorn rising, remember, your rising sign is how other people see you, not how you see yourself. You see yourself as a sun sign of whatever your sun sign is, but your rising sign and your ascendant sign is how everybody else sees you. So the people that you deal with, your lovers, your friends, your family members, they see you as your rising sign. That's one reason why the Vatican made it so hard for you to get that. A lot of people don't know the time that they were born. And the only way that you get that information, if you know the time that you were born. So think about everybody that was in foster care, that was adopted, all these people that don't have their real history, because again, People know who they are, so they they know your blueprint. They're going to make you have s sticky and hurtful situations as far as when it comes to your childhood because they know that's where they have to start the damage because you remember who you are. So a lot of people are put in s situations um, that causes hurt uh, to make them forget who they are as well as push certain energy out to cause a certain reaction to the overall earth, the overall world. So if you are a twin flame, a twin ray or divine partner, your mission is here to bring back that balance as far as when it comes to the yin and the yang, the feminine, and the masculine energy. And if you know that you're on any of these journeys, you're getting pushed to waken to who you are, heal certain things from past life because you're not aware that you have been a recurring soul, a recurring spirit more than one time on earth. And the ones that have been over and over and over and over and over you have all this stuff that you have had in other past lives that you're not aware of and you could have been you know you don't know like uh, they showed me a lot of things that I did I know that I was and because I was here from the beginning I know that I was in a lot of battles when it comes to bloodlines so just imagine the wars that they used to have back then so I know that I I was a part of you know killing a lot of different people and I had to really sit there and try to remember and once they start showing me certain things I start understanding it a lot more at the same time I couldn't feel sorry for myself because I knew that everything that's happening now was not supposed to happen this way and a lot of things when the life was hijacked and when they created the matrix and when they took over this control a lot of stuff was not supposed to happen this way and so just for me to be able to understand and as well as forgive myself for whatever my past life did compared to who I am now and me understanding and me getting the overall and seeing the bigger picture of the situation. Even though that I know a lot of people are going to be hurt because of certain things that our ancestors was involved with that we were lacking the knowledge from because it's been hidden to us. Um, you understand how deep this rabbit hole is. And I keep telling people it's not just about love. This is about bloodlines. It's about who you are, your existence as a human being and getting that information so you can understand who you are and have a better day-to-day -day life. And a lot of us have been um, brainwashed, it, brainwashed, molded to believing certain things and um, going and living our ways, our life a certain way. And uh, so... I'm here to help you understand who you are, Capricorns. I know that it's been a struggle for y'all just living in this decade because, again, Capricorn, the energy as far as the torch card is tied to the devilish energy, which is Lucifer. And again, Lucifer was the first Capricorn when he was the when he fell on Earth. And a lot of persons, somebody was like, "Well, Jesus's birthday is on December the 25th." The devil was here before Jesus. If you knew your timeline and your bit, your your story, he was the first Capricorn, and that's why I was like, people, it's common sense. But I I know a lot of people have been made to believe certain things um, when it comes to religion, and and a lot of people don't understand what's the difference from God and what's the difference from Jesus. That's a two a long a big gap 
in a decade when it comes to their stories. So there was a lot of other stuff that have happened before the story of Jesus was created. Okay. And I, a lot of people need to understand that the devil is a part of God's story. And people, people, some, a lot of people don't know the difference between God and Jesus. And that lets me know exactly how the brainwashing and the manipulation has took part when it comes to the stories, the timelines, the missing information, all that information to cause people to not understand the things and the events that's getting ready to happen now. So I'm here to help you, uh, Capricorns. It is your season. Happy birthday. Turn up. Okay, turn up. A lot of y'all could be having a lot of heart activations, having to work on your root chakra to align your chakras. If you are getting pushed to do any type of healing or, you know, letting go of certain things um, as far as addictions, this is your month to do it. Again, this month is the month where people tend to rebel, rebel, the rebellious energy as far as when it comes to Capricorn energy and then, you know, temptations and, you know, all that other stuff as far as the negative, lower negative energy, um, as far as when it comes to our emotions, um, things that we do and take part of as far as drugs, alcohol, and things like that, um, ego problems, pride issues, being materialistic, um, more focused on themselves, okay? Not doing the things that you need to do um, in order to get yourself out of fear if you're fearing um, who you are and the things that you are capable of. Um, not acknowledging your self-worth. All those negative energies um, as far as when it comes to you, Cap, that, that this the month of Capricorn and what that card represents as far as the devil card. So, Understanding the energy that you're in Capricorns, I have, um, my cousin is one of the cousins that's close to me is a Capricorn um, and I understand her. My brother is a Capricorn. I understand him. I have a lot of cousins that are Capricorns. So, um, and I know that they have a dark side about them. <laughs> so Capricorns, y'all could always have a dark side about you and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, a lot of y'all could have been warlocks and witches and um, took part of black magic and spell work in past lives. And that's one reason why you are Capricorn in this life because you're trying to let go of the black magic and spell work and the cursing and all that stuff that's falling off because it's 2020 and the energy is falling off. You're trying to um, heal certain past lives that you lived um, in, in, in before, okay? And it's a lot of obstacles that you battle and conflicts as you battle when it comes to tapping into your dark side and your light side. So I definitely understand the battle that y'all experience um, as far as you being who you are. Um, you are uh, different and I can tell you that y'all are different. Y'all are that earth energy as far as when it comes to the earth. So y'all are tied to the earth. Um, just remember that uh, growing is going to be always a challenge for you. Change is always going to be a challenge for you. Um, because again, fixed signs, okay? Or I see you as a fixed sign because of the fact of who you are. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and get started, Capricorns. Uh, I am... Sorry if that was going off. I got music in the background. Again, sounds and tones are going to be very significant until the end of March. Your masculines, your feminine is going to be uh, uh, contacting you in the 5D realm. So it could be in the dreams. You can get visuals, telepathic communication as far as certain songs that they want you to listen to, um, to so they can express how they feel about you or what's going on. Um, that's going to be a form of communication uh, that you are going to be experiencing and more of the masculines are going to be uh, communicating in 5D realm with their spirit and their soul. And then in 3D realm, their heart chakra is opening up during Capricorn. So one of the lessons that they're learning in Capricorn season is learning the difference between lust and unconditional love. So what's the difference? What is it that they are wanting? Wanting because they have, are battling a certain addiction. And if it's addictions like lust, alcohol, uh, you know, uh, drugs, a way of thinking, of having a certain, uh, living a certain lifestyle, things like that, 
than what unconditional love and the people that they really love co-heartedly with their heart that makes their heart beat. So a lot of them are having activations in their heart space. So if they are contacting you, if you are getting any type of messages of telepathic communication, you're hearing them, you're feeling their energy, you're seeing certain things that's in your blueprint um, to make you remember them, as well as activate who you are as a person as far as when it comes to your gifts, your bloodlines, the things that you need to do in order for you to take that next step to... Um, involving as a human being and again this is the i keep telling people the age of aquarius the water bearer um is about really changing to who we really are meant to be and a lot of things are falling off as far as when it comes to these old contracts that was back in the pyramid days that the religion and the government is knowing about which now they're panicking because they know that a lot of people are getting ready to find out what they have been doing and what has been been hidden and all this other stuff so it's going to have a reaction and that was one reason why they created martial law but again if you are waking up if you have been chosen by your bloodline for you to experience certain things to help the overall evolution and help the overall transformation of the earth and especially when you're a twin flame a twin ray or divine partner your mission is here to push unconditional love Again, bringing back that masculine and feminine energy that we have lost that has been damaged. So if you're on any of those journeys, you also possibly have certain things that you experienced in past lives. If you, a lot of us are real, real, real important people and we have been sleep um, this whole time and we're slowly waking up and remembering who we are. So again, that's a battle that we struggle because we have been taught that we have been so something so much less um, than what we truly are and what we're truly capable of, okay? Um, so all this is happening for a reason. Um, if you're watching me, regardless of your friend, family members, enemies, my competition as far as when it comes to the journeys that I'm on, um, I'm here to help you, teach you in some type of way. And a lot of people that thought negative about me and a lot of people that have hurt me, I know once a lot of things starts coming out and the things that I have been saying are um, in their face and face value, they're going to be feeling bad. And so I just know that that's coming. I feel the emotions already. I feel the bronze and the bridges that people that have had done, you know, bad things to me in the past, how they're trying to heal and fix certain relationships with me. So I'm understanding I'm not trying to keep a grudge or any of that because, again, I would be not allowing myself to grow so i let certain things go because i know exactly what's going on as far as when it comes to these spiritual and soul battles that we are experiencing that we probably don't understand and i understand it a lot more than anybody okay so music in the background the cards that i use in my videos have already been shuffled if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks they're listed in the description box in the video i also have my own amazon store if they're available for you to purchase on amazon if they're not available for you to purchase on amazon then you have to google it and that's one reason why i have the name in the description box so you can google it to find where you can purchase the decks okay um energy healings crystal stones all that stuff that's available for you um, online if you don't have a store to go into where you can get your own feeling of the energy and actually see exactly how your soul or spirit helps when it comes to your healing because you walk in there and you don't know what the heck any of these rocks mean but again you get that butterfly feeling you get that you know that urge of me picking that up okay that caught my eye first let me pick this up and then go home and google the meaning of what these rocks mean um so go if you do that what is tiger eye what is the spiritual meaning of tiger eye what is the benefits of uh, the health benefits of healing of tiger eye or you know certain things like that as far as understanding and doing your research and at that time you're you're kicking in your blueprint because that time your soul your spirit is now working with your 3d body to do what you need to do to help them work together because it's two of you okay um, it's two of you, even regardless if you only have a spirit and you don't have a soul, okay? It's two of you. You're still in 5D spirit moving your 3D avatar body, okay? So just know that. Um, 
let's keep going uh shuffling these two cards uh i mean this deck we're going to be shuffling this deck on camera to get your energy capricorns uh this is the illus tour deck this is not available online you have to google um to find this deck online in order for it to purchase it i have nothing but face cards on this deck which is uh celebrities entertainment people the people that have been catalyst to entertain us as well as show us certain things that we were not aware of in the movies that they take part of or the songs that they write okay everything is a mystery everything is something that is uh was put there to help us okay to remember something okay so if you have uh, when i pull this deck out whoever's on the card whatever first comes to mind when you see that individual watch the movie listen to the song because you're kicking in your clear audience gift um, activating that in some type of shape and form um, get to give you some type of message, help you with your DNA activations and so on. I have my vibration on as well because that's part of clear audience. When I was learning the gifts that I had, I was noticing if I was watching somebody as far as a different reader or watching a movie or just paying attention and focusing on me, my healing, my education and my knowledge, I noticed that it was either their vibration would go off the phone would ring um you know their child will come in as a distraction to defer me from receiving the message because i was paying so much attention or i was not paying attention and i needed to rewind the, the video or rewind the the song in order for me to get the message that i missed okay same thing with my children family people that's in your family members your friends they're, you're going to see the more that you try to you wake up the more that you rise your vibration they're going to use the people that's in your environment to distract you okay and you have to see them as distractions yes it's going to make some of you uh, upset and angry but there's nothing you can do about it at that time basically try to relieve the situation as much as possible um, and then when you have the time to sit down or speak to the people or, you know, turn your phone off, whatever you need to do in order for you to educate yourself or get the information that you need. Okay, so let's keep going. Cafe Astrology link is in the description box for your birth chart um, for that. Okay, so again, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Or if you're a Capricorn Cusp baby, this is going to be for you too. Um, again, Capricorn Cusp, sorry, Capricorn Cusp babies. Um, if I state your date of birth, that means that you were born between two zodiacs. So you're trying to harness both of those energies before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you are a Cusp baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you are a regular um sun sign as far as a capricorn as far as when it comes to your sun sign okay so sagittarius slash capricorn december the 18th through december the 24th sagittarius slash capricorn december the 18th through december the 24th capricorn slash aquarius january the 16th through january the 22nd capricorn slash aquarius january the 16th through january the 22nd um as far as cusp babies north node i'm including i don't know if i remember i said that north node i'm including you in this reading because your north node includes your past life karma and the karma in this lifetime so it has both your south node has your past life karma okay so just so you know so let's go back Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, and Mercury, uh, Cusp Babies, North Node, Cross Watchers, and if you were guided to this video and you don't have Capricorn in your chart or dealing with anybody that has Capricorn in their chart.
Okay, so Cap Capricorns, I'm going to shuffle it three more times. This next time, whatever at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take it as part of your energy. You have the Five of Swords, and this has came out in the past three readings that I have had. So it came out in my Virgo reading. It came out in my... Um, was it Sagittarius reading? I know it came out in my Virgo reading. It came out in my Cancer reading, excuse me. And then I feel that it also came out in my Leo reading. But I know it came out in Virgo and Cancer for sure. And now it's coming out in Capricorn, okay? So if you have any of that in your chart, um, make sure you go watch those readings. Even if the title catches your attention, go watch the reading for those ones. Um, but the Five of Swords being reversed, this is letting me know that a lot of people, let's say, again, 2020 is... Um, when it's a new year, it typically puts the people in energy as far as with them not wanting to be on the same cycles or dealing with the same thing that they dealt with in the previous year. So a lot of people are trying to let go of certain situations, let go of certain habits, letting go of certain characteristics within themselves that causes them to be in, you know, a bad situation, put themselves in bad situations, making people see them in a bad light. Um, you know, making the, doing the things that they need to do in order to, to make change, produce change um, with, with themselves and then as far as with their life. So with this Five of Swords being reversed, I'm seeing this as somebody asking for forgiveness. So Capricorns, you could be going towards somebody asking for forgiveness or somebody that you have been involved with as far as your masculine, your feminine could be asking for forgiveness. Um, this could also represent forgiveness. It does not necessarily have to be a love situation. It could be a family, a friend, people that's in your environment. And like I said, the more that you raise your vibration, the more that you the more that you raise your vibration, Capricorn, the more that people are going to see that you are different. And again, if you are a twin flame, a twin ray or divine partner, a lot of things um, are going to be standing um, out when it comes to the relationships that you have with that person, especially if you're in those type of categories of those relationships. There's going to be a lot of forgiveness that's going to be asked because, again, 2020 to 2024 is the shift of mass unions between masculines and feminines as far as you being in any of those type of journeys, okay? So whoever you're going to end up being with um, during that time, remembering that y'all have a mission that y'all have to complete as far as when it comes to working in, you know, a lot of community, working with the community, helping shift the consciousness and awareness of everybody that's in your environment, and then also just other people that's on earth. So I feel that this person is coming in. They've been asking, they're going to be asking for forgiveness. They possibly had to forgive their self for the things that they have done, their actions as well. If this is you, Capricorn, forgiving yourself is the best thing for you to do especially let's say if you're uh, you're on a path where you are waking up to who you were in past lives um and you are somebody totally different in this lifetime just again like i said forgiving yourself for whatever you dealt with that's all you have to do is just say i forgive myself for whatever i was involved in in, in a past life that i was not aware of i forgive myself i forgive anybody that has hurt me and previous past lives that um hurt me or caused deception or brought me any pain that i'm not aware of in this lifetime and it's just allowing you to acknowledge what you you know that you're a part of that you're possibly not aware of and have all the information that you need in order for you to understand who you were but just acknowledging that is a deeper meaning and you speaking those words um, to yourself, your soul, and your spirit will get you on. So asking for forgiveness, uh, meditating on that. If y'all are involved in meditation, if you go into a certain, you know, um, rhythm or a certain way of doing your healing taking part of that okay so this person is wanting to put the swords down a lot of part people let's say if they were involved in doing the backstabbing causing some type of deception involved in any type of trickery one up energy okay wanting up trying to one up um you know having hidden motives um hidden agendas okay um unfair treatment okay um, I feel that this person is wanting to put those swords down. They're no longer wanting to fight. And if you see on this card, these two people are coming to have a conversation. There's somebody in the background in their business listening. So I feel that you're still going to have certain people that, um, let's say if you are 
Capricorns, our cross watchers, you know this Capricorn is going towards you. Our Capricorn, you know your masculine, your feminine is coming to you towards for forgiveness. And they're wanting to... Um, they're wanting to put all the bad things to the side. And that's what I'm hearing. All the difficulties, all the things that have happened between you and them... They're not, I'm hearing they're not acknowledging, they're not this, they're not, okay, how, what, let me say, they're not acknowledging, I'm hearing they're not acknowledging, so I just heard I'm not, they're not acknowledging, so some of the masculines, could, okay, so let's say if you are masculine right now and you the one that caused all the hurt. I just heard some feminine saying you're not acknowledging the hurt that you caused. So if you are, let's say if this person was coming to you and asking forgiveness and just wanting to put all the things aside, um, this person is really, I guess the feminines is seeing it as that you are not acknowledging the hurt that you caused and what you put them through. So I feel that um, in this forgiveness, this person possibly, let's say if in the past they were not acknowledging the hurt or they were not acknowledging the things that they were doing. I feel with this time around with this person coming in and asking forgiveness, they're going to be speaking that, okay, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, the six of wands that also came out in my last two readings. This time it's coming up upright and it's coming up in this position first before it was over here. So this is somebody getting on their chore, their their horse, moving towards something, you know, shining armor coming in. This also represents respect. So again, Capricorns, a lot of people can respect you. You can be, res you know, respect your divine masculine, your divine feminine, your divine feminine, divine masculine can respect you uh, for who you are. Um, but this represents um, social acceptance. It re represents teamwork, working as a team, as well as winning, um, having your hopes alive um, and having overall success in a situation. So like I was saying earlier, if this person is putting their swords down and they're coming to you and asking for forgiveness as well as acknowledging the hurt that they have caused. Um, this is going to seem like victory to you, Capricorns, or cross watchers. It's going to seem like due to victory to you when this Capricorn comes and acknowledges this and then acknowledges, you know, wanting to, you know, mend, mend the bridge between you and them. And I just heard uh, that song, um, uh, How Do I Mend a Broken Heart? How do I mend a broken heart? Doom, doom, doom. Um, that's the song that popped into my head, okay? So again, Capricorns, your last video, I told y'all that y'all are old school and a lot of y'all are old school and the Capricorns that I know, they're old school, okay? So they have old souls. Um, so I... I feel that this person is seeing victory. Them going towards you is victory for them. Of course, you're going to have people that's in the background, that's watching, that's hating. Um, even people that's disguised as friends and family members that possibly don't want to see you in union with your masculine, your feminine Capricorn are making these changes about yourself um, is what I'm hearing as well. You have the three of swords being reversed. You have the three of cups being reversed. And then you have the six of swords being upright. And then you have the page of wands. And this came out in my Virgo reading. So this represents fire energy. This represents somebody getting ready to take action. They're getting ready to be direct. So yes. So let's say if that person, how I was saying earlier with the scenario, if they were not acknowledging the hurt, they would always come in asking for forgiveness, but they would never acknowledge the hurt or that they caused or their actions of what they were doing as far as when it comes to bringing any type of heartache and pain to this relationship. Some of them were involved with other situations as far as other suitors, a karmic, a soulmate, having other lovers, uh, doing other things, you know, providing for other people, um, causing hurt, um, Bring in sorrow, bring in tears to your environment, Capricorn or cross watchers. This Capricorn was doing this to you, um, is what I'm hearing. I feel that this had brought, um, 
you know, some of y'all were possibly in love triangles. Uh, some of y'all, again, uh, emotional pain. There could have been separation that you and this person had um, been involved with as far as when it comes to your relationship, your journey. You also have the Three of Cups coming out being reversed. So the Three of Cups coming out being reversed, this represents overindulging in alcohol. It represents also an un unexpected pregnancy. So there could have been an unexpected pregnancy that could have been involved in a certain situation. This could have been past energy or this could have been something that you had dealt with right now, Capricorns or cross watchers that's watching this reading. Um, but I do feel, let's say if you're, some of y'all are, you're, some of y'all, are dealing with somebody that possibly stepped out on you and got somebody else pregnant um let's say if you were involved with a love triangle or a um situation where your masculine your feminine likes to party a lot or they they get involved they're involved with a lot of drugs or alcohol or again being very promiscuous um liking to having a lot of men or women around there could have been um again an unexpected pregnancy that took part as far as that there could have been a karmic or soulmate that got pregnant as well um is what I'm hearing and that could have brought some type of uh, heartache and some type of pain to you Capricorns or cross watchers is what I'm hearing our Capricorns you could have brought that to your masculine your feminine if you're watching this and you are the um the one that was causing the hurt is what I'm hearing because I don't see I see that since there's not um and some of y'all could have been dealing with the fire sign that did this to you since this is the only energy as far as a face card so it could be an aries a leo or a sagittarius or they could have that in their chart but i feel that this person is seeing victory i feel that this person is coming in passionately i feel that they're going to be open to express exactly you know the hurt that they caused if they were involved with multiple situations as far as other men or other women i feel that this person is going to express that i feel that with the six of swords coming out this can represent two different ways let's say if you capricorns are now involved in this is something that just happened and you're finding out that you're um, masculine your feminine are the person that you were involved with did cheated on cheat on you even if this is a soulmate relationship or whatever if this is your you're married a husband and wife um, some of y'all are finding out that your other half did cheat on you and there could have been drugs and alcohol that was in uh, um, in this person's environment that was he was they were under the influence and they had a one night stand with somebody i feel that some of y'all possibly could be find out this information and separate yourself from this because the six of swords also does represent escaping energy it also represents separation um moving away from something so i feel that some of y'all could be ending a certain situation especially let's say if somebody did have a one night stand or they did get involved with somebody else and have sex with them and this other person ends up being pregnant okay so i feel that some of y'all could be leaving a situation um removing yourself from that difficulties um yes it's going to cause pain and bring you heartache and pain but i feel that a lot of y'all um are you know <coughs> not wanting to deal with that situation <coughs> is what i'm hearing so <coughs> <coughs> sorry y'all they trying to cut off my windpipe Oh, I'll guarantee that I'll never let you go. Okay. But some of y'all are separating yourself from that. So now let's go to the other situation as far as what this comes to this card. This represents the messenger of love. It represents also marriage. It represents um, also uh, a proposal. So it, it's the messenger, the love card, marriage, proposal. Okay. This also represents not worrying about a certain situation. Um, so I feel that this person is coming in. So let's say if they do see victory in you and this person is getting ready to propose or they're getting ready to express themselves or, you know, acknowledge as far as how much they really care about you. Um, I feel that this person is getting ready to speak that. Okay. Somebody is going to be getting a proposal. Um, this person possibly again could have put you in a third party situation, a love triangle caused emotional pain. Um, could have been somebody that could have been addicted to certain drugs or alcohol and they were choosing that addiction over you, which also brought you heartache and pain because those addictions, as far as drugs, alcohol, uh, greed, gambling addiction money all that stuff is tied to your heart chakra emotion so a lot of people have to um when it comes to let's say your twin flame twin ray your divine partner your masculine your feminine um you have to battle you know lust other women another situation a physical human being and some of them it's not lust or a physical human being that it's addictions that this person's battling and they're choosing over you so 
Uh, I see that the people that's watching this video are in different situations. Some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was involved in both. The addictions, the drugs and alcohol that they were taking part of, the certain habits that they have as far as um, uh, things they were uh, addicted to was bringing them in different environment with different women and different men or um, taking part of different situations as far as when it comes to having certain friends come into their life um, to feed their 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 addictions um, is what I'm hearing as well. So some of y'all could have been dealing with both. You have the Eight of Swords being reversed. You have the Ace of Wands being upright, and then you have a Four of Wands being upright. And Four of Wands keeps coming out in a lot of readings. So this is letting me know, let's say if this person felt like they were attached, if this person was a fear, experiencing any type of fear, fears, restrictions, um, you know, feeling like they were stuck. Um, some of them falsely, again, was not feeling, their, not feeling that they were worthy enough. Um, is what I'm hearing, and that's probably the reason why, like, they had a lot of men, or a lot of, dealt with a lot of men, and dealt with a lot of women, or dealt with certain addictions. Is what I'm hearing. Um, I feel that this person is removing themselves from those le those negative, lower energies, um, as far as when it comes to the things that they need to detach themselves from, and that's the reason why this card is reverse when this is reversed this is better this is breaking themselves free from a certain situation that's no longer serving them so if again if this was third party situations a karmic a soulmate addictions certain habits within themselves they're releasing themselves from it okay so this person is um you know receiving their freedom in a certain situation this also represents prison like release from prison so some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that's in jail are finding out that certain somebody that you know um, are is getting released from jail, um, but this represents taking action. So let's say if this person was stuck in their head, if they were, because the Eight of Swords also represents procrastination energy. So this person could have been self self sabotaging themselves as well, because typically um, when the Eight of Swords comes out, there's no you know um, rope around their hands. There's no um, nothing that's causing them to not be able to remove themselves away from the swords. Um, and this person is not rem just moving, okay? They're keeping themselves stuck. So some of them, y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was um, doing that, those things, okay? But I, when the Ace of Wands comes out, this is about taking action. So new energy, having a new spark, gaining a new inspiration. And let's say if it was drugs and alcohol or if it was a sex addiction that this person could have had, um, or again, a pride or uh, pride or ego addiction, um, more focused on themselves. Um, this are lacking confidence within themselves. This person has found a new inspiration. So this is also taking action and moving towards, um, you know, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, our Capricorn, them moving towards you, our cross watchers, you know, and this masculine, your this Capricorn's moving towards you. Um, but this person is seeing victory. They're wanting to work as a team. This is happy home. This is family. This is harmony, as well as good health. So removing yourself from the addiction. Some of y'all could again have issues as far as heart. I feel that somebody had a heart attack from taking, um, uh, I don't know if it was alcohol or a drug. Um, they could have had something that um, had something like that have happened to them in their past. Um, and now this person, again, them letting go of certain addictions, letting go of certain things um, now allows them to be in good health. So now their health, your health is getting better, Capricorn, because you let go of the drugs, you let go of the alcohol is what I'm hearing. Okay, so this person is now wanting to work as a team. They're putting action. They're putting movement. Um, again, uh, this person could be a little bit, a little bit aggressive when they come in. But at the same time, I do feel that somebody is going to be giving somebody a marriage proposal. They're good. There could be again somebody asking for their hand in marriage. Um, you have the star card, which represents uh, Aquarius. So this is again. A renewal, a transformation within yourself, Capricorn. So if you did let go of negative things that was holding you back and bring in certain, certain heartache to certain people that was in your environment, regardless if this was friends and family members, you're the person that you love, even yourself, I feel that you, you did what you needed to do with the star card coming out. This is about finding peace within yourself. So you found that peace. This is you also doing the things that you need to do in order for you to find your own sense of purpose, going through your self-discovery phase, uh, realizing your self-worth, 
okay? Having that personal growth, gaining the clarity, the knowledge that you need in order for you to move forward in a certain situation. So I feel that this person had a major transformation. I feel that this person is also seeing you as their light. Um, if they, this is your masculine, your feminine, they're seeing you as their light, okay? Um, they're going towards their light. You be the one that makes me cry. Okay. The queen of pentacles. Yeah, they see you as the wife. They see you as the person. This is nurturing energy. This is somebody being caring. This is also somebody being honest. Them being mature, them being responsible, okay? So I feel that this person is coming in and they're being honest. So again, if they were not acknowledging the hurt they have caused, they're not acknowledging, you know, them being with other women, having other multiple relationships, you know, being involved in certain addictions, uh, drugs, alcohol, this person is getting ready to be honest. This person had a transformation within themselves. Again, now they're, they gain a confidence within themselves, as well because this means that this person had a lot of uh, personal growth regardless if this is feminine energy if you are a masculine and you're watching this and you are the one that removed yourself from addictions you had a lot of personal growth um within yourself okay somebody um knows that you have a big heart they see you as somebody that has a big heart and like i said capricorns y'all have a big heart this is your energy this is you being in your energy okay being in that earth energy not allowing anything to phase you, not worrying, not worrying. You have the hermit card being reversed, which represents Virgo. So this represents uh, withdrawal. So some of them again have are battling um, withdrawals, having to go through you know those uh, the phases for that as far as the withdrawal phases, as far as alcohol and drugs. So just knowing that you have to go through that um, to remove yourself completely from that habit. Um, so I feel that some of y'all have been experiencing that. I feel that there has been some of them that have been hiding, you know, away from others, getting their self together. Let's say if you are not aware. I feel that somebody was possibly in some type of AAA or... Um, a treatment program for something and your masculine your feminine is involved with that and you're not aware of that or Capricorn you've been involved in that and you're not aware the people that's in your environment are not aware of that because that's the reason why you have like let's say if you have um, detached yourself from family and friends or even your masculine your feminine you're doing this in the background is what I'm hearing Yeah. Some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was very paranoid and it could have been that they were very paranoid because of the drugs or the alcohol that they um, were taking part of. So earlier how I was saying, this person was saying that you are their light. So with this being reversed, I'm seeing somebody being in the dark. So again, if they were in the dark and you are their light, they're going towards their light. Um, again, some of them are recovering from certain addictions, uh, lust. Uh, I see lust. It could be lust here. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs. Um, it could be, again, not knowing their self-worth um, is what they're recovering from. Um, detaching their self from, again, let's say a third party situation, if they were the love and leave them type and they did involve with certain other people, um, as far as other feminines or other masculines, um, well, I, I'm not going to say other feminines or masculines, other soulmates or karmics that they were involved with other suitors, um, that could have been something that this person is breaking themselves free from and they are releasing themselves from as well. Okay, um, but if this person is, so you have the Hermit card, which represents Virgo. You have the Queen of Pentacles, which represents uh, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. You have the Star card, which represents uh, Aquarius. You have the Ace of Wands, which represents uh, uh, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. And then you have the Page of Wands, which represents Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. The Knight of Swords, this is communication coming in. 
Um, so direct communication, this correct communication that you're going to be getting is going to be direct. That's going to come in. Um, this also represents knight in shining armor. So it's earlier I was saying that I feel that somebody is getting on their horse. So your knight in shining armor is coming in. Our Capricorn, you're going to be seen as a knight in shining armor when you go towards your masculine, your feminine. Um, but this represents again a change. It represents somebody being in their thoughts. It also represents being clever as well as being um, shock-minded. So again, uh, gaining the knowledge, getting the information that you need, um, making the, the decision. So somebody's getting ready to make a decision, and again, them making a decision is them going towards their light. And if they are seeing you as Capricorn, their light, they're going towards you, okay, um, is what I'm hearing. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords, so no longer being in their head. Um, this represents sun shining after the storm. Uh, again, release. Releasing themselves from, again, let's say if you were dealing with somebody that was paranoid or if they were dealing with a karmic or a soulmate that was manipulating them um, any type of way as far as emotion manipulation or mental manipulation, they're releasing themselves from that as well. Um, some of them could have been dealing with, uh, they're realizing exactly how they made you feel as far as you having the sleepless nights, you doubting the connection, you questioning everything, you, um, you know, making them, you go through the pain, feeling like the overall burdens, um, this person is feeling that as well, but I feel that this person is returning back to hope, you're returning back to hope, especially once you get this communication from this Capricorn, um, this Capricorn or Capricorn, if you are the one that's giving the communication or cross watchers, you're giving the communication to Capricorn or Capricorn. Capricorn's coming to you. I feel that this is going to be returning you back to hope as far as when it comes to the situation between you and this person, okay? Um, you have the two of swords being reversed. So with this being reversed, this person is recognizing, like I was saying, them juggling. If they were juggling other things, um, if they were, which caused them to be even overwhelmed with them juggling other people, um, you know, the drugs, the alcohol, um, putting weight, putting weights on their shoulders when they really didn't need to have to do that. Um, and then also weighing out their options. So some of them were, you know, did, you were involved with somebody that had multiple people and they continue to weigh off their option because they were dealing with other people. Okay. And are again, involved with certain things that was causing them not to think clearly, um, you know, as well is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Chariot cancer. So this person's going towards you. This represents a new adventure this represents travel so some of y'all could be traveling towards this person even if it's a five minute uh drive look i surrender tender love is on by the force md m d s okay so this represents good karma it represents destiny it represents uh luck okay so getting on their horse going towards you making the decision no longer juggling um different things now they're choosing you capricorn or capricorns you're choosing your masculine your feminine okay our cross watchers you're choosing your capricorn whichever or somebody's going towards you okay wanting to make that connection going towards you in the rain the sun the sign they're going whatever the four seasons i think of you four seasons okay rain snow sun and what am i missing winter <coughs> they're coming towards you regardless if it's raining they coming if this person is coming back from your past you also have the Knight of Swords, excuse me. So you have the Knight of Swords here, represents Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. If this person is coming back from your past, what are they bringing you? The sun. What did I just say? Wow. And I think about that song, that guy, that Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore song, um, where he says, you are my Drew Barrymore. And I like that song, um, but this is Drew Barrymore. Again, the sun, this represents fire energy. So it represents uh, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. It also represents Leo. So you, they see you as their light. You are their light. You are their light. Strength. They had to gain strength. You are their strength. And new inspiration. You give this person inspiration. They gain the courage to go towards you. They gain the, the courage to remove themselves from 
um, whatever addictions that they were involved in. Mary J. Blige. The Emperor. Yep. They want you to be their wife or you're getting ready to be somebody's husband, the Capricorn. This is you also gaining the highest position within yourself, becoming the emperor. This person is coming towards you as the emperor. They made a transformation and going towards you as the emperor. This represents Taurus. This represents Aries slash Taurus energy. Okay. This represents um, stability, gaining that stability within yourself, building a solid foundation. Okay. Respectful energy. I told you this person respects you, highly respects you. Those were the words I said to you. It was last May. Don't know the exact date. Yep. They want to make you their wife. It's gonna be somebody's wife. The honors of being my wife. Hmm. Trust. Trust. You're gonna have to trust the situation. Couldn't we be happily ever after? Hey, this situation is calling for you to have faith. True love. They know you are their true love. They know you are their true love. This person really, really loves you. Regardless of the, who they dealt with, the karmic, the, the soulmate, the other women, the other men, the addictions, you are their true addiction. You are their true love. So it says this is a it, this is the romance of a lifetime. Release your ex. Some of them again had to break free from uh, a karmic or soulmate, or if they had multiple people that they were involved with, then they had to release themselves from that. Okay. So it says the time has come to clear your energy, clearing your energy out. Some of them could have been codependent on an ex. Beaver spirit. So it says lay a solid foundation. Didn't I just say that? Building the bricks together, building your house together. A six. Six represents harmony, represents past. Antelope spirit. So it says life is speeding up. Everything's getting fast. Life is getting faster. It's speeding up. This person is going towards you. A two. Twos represents union, represents balance. Elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Learning from their past mistakes. Learning from the past mistakes, Capricorn. Not allowing yourself to go through the same cycles, the same things over and over and over. A 25 here, a seven, sevens represents mystery, DNA activation, seeing signs, getting synchronicities, and so on. You have sacral chakra, so you have an eight here. So this is intimacy. Um, there could be intimacy between your masculine and your feminine. This is Kundalini activation as well. You have an eight here, which is about movement, okay? Choice, they're choosing you, going towards you, a lot of, ele a lot of, uh, horses in this reading a lot of horses in this reading free will courage willpower and change a 17 represents eight so eight eight pleasure sexual pleasure you are they again this also represents the addictions that they had to let go of okay but they you are their addiction you are their addiction. So it says enjoyment, beauty, intrigued.
essential. We have a 10 here. So a completion, a one represents new beginnings. Sensility. Indulgence, okay. So not overindulging in foods, alcohol, drugs. Again, releasing yourself from certain addictions, okay. Food can be an addiction, okay. You are an earth sign, so that tends to be an addiction for um, earth signs is food, money addiction, gambling addiction. Um, if you if you have something like that, breaking yourself from that. Um, let's go next card. Proper burial for freedom. Sacrifice to Osiris, Lord of the Dead. This came out in my Virgo reading. So laying a proper burial of the old you, Capricorn. Putting up to rest the old you and allowing the new you to come through. Having that proper burial for yourself. expectations you were not expecting for this person to ask for your hand of marriage you were not expecting for this person to make this big change um this person is going to come in not putting high expectations on one another when y'all go in union but this person is going to give the you know what you expect from them what they expect from themselves you have a 28 here which is another 10 wealthy man wealthy man Finding your abundance, Capricorns. Some of y'all are involved with a wealthy man. This person has money. They possibly have their own business, um, you know, have their self taken care of. If they let go of the addictions, if they're letting go of certain things that they were putting their money in, it's going to cause you to be a wealthy man, Capricorn. No longer gambling, no longer drinking, no longer putting money towards, you know, multiple women, multiple uh, men. Um, no longer putting money towards drugs. You saving that money on that and causes you to be a wealthy man. You have a 13 here, which is a four. Four is, turns into uh, stability. Uh, the 13, a four is about stability. Marriage. What did I tell you? Asking for their hand in marriage. Marry me, Capricorn. Capricorn, you want to marry somebody. Giving you that true commitment. It was all on the songs, okay? Y'all heard all them songs. Couldn't we be happily ever after? A three. 3D body now connecting with your 5D spirit, your 5D soul. Last card. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as an ocean. As deep as an ocean. As deep as an ocean. Go catch your fish. Go get your fish. Hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, and I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.